Hello, loves. Happy Saturday. I hope that you're well. Let's see who wants to jump in the live with us. Just wanted to tap into the collective energy. Let's see what we need to know for the lion's gate. For joining like I said we're just gonna wait a couple more minutes to see who else joins in on the live with us um, if not and you're seeing the replay definitely love the video drop a comment if something resonated with you individually on your journey um, or share with a friend or save it to help the algorithm all of that is appreciated so is your time thank you for being here um, I'm gonna wait another moment or two and then we were gonna get get into the decks that I have for us. So let's take a moment and center ourselves. Let's see what we need to know for this Lion's Gate portal. Let's see what we need to know. Collective wise. So I'm going to go through these kind of quickly. So let me just say that a majority of the cards out here are the sword. So you could be really feeling a lot of this in your mind. Um, so the first three cards we have are the seven of swords, the queen of swords, and the hierophant. Um, now the seven of swords is like, I feel like that's kind of like present, like yesterday and today, you could have been feeling kind of overwhelmed in your mind, lots of conflict, just kind of introspective things, not going the way that you anticipated. Um, but knowing that you're the queen of the, you have this queen of swords energy, or this could be another air sign in your life. That's kind of reminding you that you got this. It's okay. You're able to go with the flow. The Hierophant here is telling us that it could be time to increase our knowledge and understanding, which is why we have all these mind cards too. So it could just be like this upgrade energy for your your, your mind. Um, and you could be kind of like in this five of swords, three of swords energy. Um, but Spirit is saying, don't worry, because the Eight of Wands is here to whisk you away to get your mind off of troubles. Um, you could have been feeling heartbroken, defeated. Um, you could also be feeling just very conflicted, just kind of like, uh, and that's okay. You know, we're not always going to feel great all the time. Um, but this Eight of Wands is telling us that it's going to be all right. We're going to, we're going to handle this. We could be feeling kind of overwhelmed with the Ten of Swords, but we also are going to start something new we're going to start something new with yeah literally <laughs> the ace of we have the ace of wands next we're going to start something new we're going to do it a little bit different okay we're going to remix we're going to remix it and that's what this um you know that's ooh, okay all right so spirit wants me to pull from a different deck that i didn't have so we're going to pull from that one next so then we have the two of cups and the six of swords so you could be getting an offer of love. You could be realizing that, you know, that mental conflict is about you not taking a leap of faith or not um, being willing to be vulnerable or, you know, welcome in new relationships. Um, but there is harmony there, okay? There is harmony there for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So please trust your intuition. Please definitely trust your intuition and also, you know, realizing that you have the things that you need and to be grateful for them. Okay, so 
lots of mental upgrades with this Lionsgate portal. Lots of mental upgrades. Could also be receiving um, coins, a gift of money, um, or just dealing with money in a new way, or receiving money um, or abundance from different sources. So do not be afraid to receive. Do not block your blessings. Um, okay, so next we're going to pull from the Keep Calm and Trust God deck which I love and this is actually this deck actually fell over while I was in the middle of that first deck so let's see what um the creator would like us to know for the lion's gate let's see what information comes out okay it says be strong and take heart all you who hope in the lord and that's psalms 31 24 and it says, trust the past to God's mercy, the present to God's love, and the future to God's providence. St. Augustine of Hippo. So, you know, really surrendering today. Really surrendering the past and the future, and just being very present and seeing how the divine drops knowledge to you, okay? Uh, all right, next we're gonna pull from the Ascension deck. Let's see what we need to know for the Lionsgate portal on here. Ascension cards for the Lion's Gate portal. Let's see what we need to have. All right, so the first of the ascension cards that we have is water um now i myself took a very serious cleansing bath because i was dreaming some heavy stuff last night so um the water here again is a reminder to cleanse um but the water ascension card reads uh water permeates everything including the cells of your body it carries pure divine love and special qualities that can assist ascension poseidon is in charge of the waters neptune is his elemental master and directs the un the un Undines. Ask them to cleanse emotions, emotional, emotionally based illnesses and relationship difficulties. Your guidance is to bless water everywhere to bring it into fifth dimension. Ask Poseidon to link you to the music of the spheres to access the sounds of your perfect divine blueprint and start to reinstate it. So um, this Lionsgate portal is going to have an additional activation to all cells that are based in water and, you know, we're mostly water so um you know do not forget to do this the affirmation here says water i love you i bless you and i thank you i direct you to spread love around the planet the next card that we have is el moria el moria is the chohan of the first ray of his action he is helping us with the changes ahead and our opportunities for ascension he is a member of the white brother bright white brotherhood and a originates from mercury el moria will soon become the manu the perfected man on whom the new root race of humanity with its 12 strands of connected and active dna will be based in drawing this card you are asked to lead by example employing the self-discipline strength and integrity of an ascended master you are reminded to use your power for the highest good and the affirmation here is I stand in my power. And this card is a 44 and the card before it is a 15. So 44 is definitely an angel number. So we're going to be activating different parts of our DNA. So preparing for that. Um, and I think the water will actually help us activate that as well. The next card that we have is Hilarion is from Saturn. We are on a Saturn day. And steps down his energy through the Temple of Truth over Crete. He is a he is negotiator for Earth on the Council of Saturn and helps us remain connected to our spiritual journey. As master of the orange fifth ray of technology, science, truth, and knowledge, he invites you to open your mind so that he can drop seeds for new ideas into your consciousness. You know, this is like literally all those sword cards that sword cards that we were getting in the in the Affirmator's Tarot. It says he assists those who are ready to become higher channels and clairvoyance. Your guidance is to sit quietly and ask him to help you 
be all that you can be. And the affirmation here is, I am open to the wisdom and guidance of Hilarion. So if you've been asking, if you're a channeler or if you're clairvoyant or if you're receiving downloads and you've been getting like a lot of ringing in your ears and stuff like that, like prepare because you are receiving downloads. The key is to just use that water to cleanse and, and also be still to receive the messages. Let's see what we need to let go of with this Lionsgate portal. Let's see what we're ready to let go of. ready to surrender for our highest good. All right, so some things that we're ready to surrender. I'm going to read through these kind of quick because a lot of cards came out. Um, we have surrender to passion. That was that two of cups energy. It says get out of your head, all the swords, and into the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So really checking in with your gut and seeing what you're feeling. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Again, that surrender, okay? That surrender is absolutely necessary. Uh, surrender fear. Let go of your fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. We have surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there. You know, maybe it's just blessing the water and sitting outside for a while. Just allowing yourself to receive all the sounds and, and energy from, you know, being in nature. It's what we're meant to do. Um, the next card that we have is Surrender Defensiveness. I've been feeling like so many people are very defensive lately. Um, okay, so we have Defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way. Stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Um, surrender to Creativity. There's that Empress uh, theme right there it says let your imagination soar stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem we have surrender to the idea that you can fix someone it's time for a relationship to, relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or home her own healing so you know you can share but that doesn't mean that they're ready to take that journey by themselves okay uh, surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Okay. And then we have surrender to your soul's path. It says your life's journey has been perfect, perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. And at the bottom of the deck, we have surrender to trust. So trust your path. If you've been curious, if you're like on your path or things just haven't been moving the way you anticipated, again, surrendering to that, okay? Surrender. Trust. It says trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions of what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path, okay? Exactly. Literally. I just said that. <laughs> the, the, the trust card says trust that you have chosen the right path. You have. It's for you, okay? Um, let's see what comes out from, let's pull a card from the Amour of Psyche cards. Now, some of these I might not be able to show online because there is some nudity on these cards. So let's see what we need to know about love at this time. And romantic love specifically. So this theme, I'm going to just kind of, it says uninhibited and, and released, loves embrace and joy and jubilation. So the divine is really asking us to surrender to our passions right now. This could be with lots of intimacy, um, passion, and really just enjoying yourself um, and embracing after and, you know, just doing things that bring you joy, doing things that bring you joy. Okay, so uh, I can't show these cards because they're a little, like I said, but you know, 
being free and embodying love within yourself and expressing that through joy and intimacy with another. Um, let's see what the Letterman deck wants us to know for the Lionsgate portal and then we will wrap up the collective reading. So let's see what we need to know from the Letterman deck for the Lionsgate portal. card Ooh. all right so let's look let me look at one thing in here so the first card that we got is the fish which is like the success card um diamonds so fish the fish symbolizes good fortune it's like a great card to get uh, good fortune money success material wealth wages investments financial transactions are all covered by this card as our self-employment entre entrepreneurial endeavors um, and then we have the bear card next which is like loyalty um, meaningful relationships this is like that protective energy as well so in here it says the bear is someone big and strong someone brave and protective and impose this isn't like an imposing or powerful personality or maybe someone in a position of power um this could also be like a mama bear too it says the bear could be a manager director ceo this is also someone of big physical build or fierce maternal yeah exactly fierce maternal protectionism um and because it's with the fish, I'm gonna say this, you could be receiving big profits. That's what I was telling earlier. Like money could be coming to you through an idea, through an inspiration, or just things are gonna be flowing more abundantly to you if they've been um, kind of slow or you've been wondering, like I've been putting all this work in and I'm really not seeing like what you thought you would, be patient. The next card that we have is the garden. This is a place to meet, a social invitation. You could be asked to go to like a party or something, or this could also be lovers meeting up, okay? It says a, a social space represents openness and inclusivity. The garden is a place, a place for community. Um, also, this could mean like with the fish too, because I mean, it's not right next to the fish, but it also could be meaning like gambling so if you were like betting oh hi love um if you were like betting on something you could receive some extra money so um for some of y'all that could be lottery winnings could be just investment winnings or just wise decisions um and at the bottom of the deck we have the mountain so the mountain is the work okay what you're not seeing is that you got to put in the work okay it may but the work is like the journey of life hi love um is the journey of life and like that beautiful sunset over top is like you being guided by spirit okay it says the mountain represents something big something unmovable or a challenge to overcome while symbolizing delays the mountain can also indicate durability and resilience and if the mountain comes um uh, so yeah So it could just mean that there is some obstacles that you might have to overcome, but that you can also sustain it and good things are still coming to you. Um, so that is what we, that was the message and the, the reading from the Lenderman deck for the Lionsgate portal. Um, we have one more deck to pull from and then we are going to end the collective live um, and that will be up so if you missed the reading definitely check it out this is what we need to know as a collective for the lionsgate portal um so let's pull from the keepers of the light let's see what we need to know for the lionsgate portal from the keepers of the light you 
we're listening when the Ascension cards are pulled. We have El Moria again in, and in a whole nother deck. In a whole nother deck. So um, he's really showing out. It says Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So if you're feeling kind of overwhelmed, making sure that you're, you know, setting your, you know, your spiritual garment around yourself or like an egg of light. Okay. Um, we have Faith. love for us um it says humanity and benevolence stay calm trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world and then we have Arada, which is a soul flame and this card is saying rediscover a lost part of yourself which is kind of like that hierophant card i feel like it says experience relationship harmony and healing and we got that six of swords and that was talking about like harmony um and the two of cups so like harmony in our relationships Getting back to love, getting back to blooming, you know, there is a beautiful lotus flower. We know that the lotus flower is like the opening, the enlightenment of and 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 expression out, okay? That's the blooming period. So do not forget to be joyful and experience love and intimacy. We did do the love cards before this. So um, I just want to read and hear what it talks about El Moria again, just to see how the decks compare. So since that he came out in both the ascension deck and here as well so let's see in here what they say it says el maria is a spiritual name that was given to protect the identity that the identity of ron beer singh a spiritually aware man born into a powerful family that ruled kashmir in the 19th century it is said that he interceded both spirituality and physically to stop the british invasion of the region in 1845 this wise soul is now able to help us remove any energy from our life that is not serving our connection to god he is a wonderful guide to call on if we are unaware of something it unsure if something is real or not he helps awaken he helps awaken our i am presence which is our truest connection to our soul and our universe itself um the extended message here spiritual protection is important at this time um, ensure that you are cleansing your energy. We literally got the water card earlier. <laughs> um, before putting on protection. El Moria is here with a legion of angels to help you understand where you are at now. He was card 44 also. So that is also angel numbers. It says fire up your divine connection and detach from dramas, people, places, and emotions that no longer serve you. Remember that within you there is a mighty soul light. Allow the light to shine through your entire being. And then call on El Moria and his angels to surround you in a light that will keep you safe on all levels. Also know that facing fears and seeing the truth will strengthen your connection to the universal life force. So those are really beautiful cards for us for this um, Lionsgate portal. Um, you know, a lot of the themes can definitely be felt in the energy. Um, there could be kind of a mental heaviness over the last two days. Things kind of going unexpected, having to really surrender timelines, expectations, um, relationships, um, positions. There's a lot of surrendering happening, happening right now because God is kind of, and, and our spirit team is removing the things, like I said, that don't keep us in our highest connection with God and ourself. So, yeah. So if you're watching the replay, please drop a comment, share with a friend, um, share how this reading impacted you and how the energies are playing out for you. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the replay. Um, we have, oh, excuse me, we have a collective Reiki next week for the full moon. I will be doing a post later this weekend sometime um, to go over that and I hope to hold a safe space for you to prepare for the the, uh, the full moon. And yeah, so I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe, please. Um, and be sweet with yourself over the next day. Okay? I love you guys. Have a happy Lionsgate portal. And don't forget to love each other and surrender to the creator.